Welcome, it's Sue here with Get to the Farm. Today we'll discuss how quickly water moves through the soil, how that affects your plants. Poor drainage suffocates plants as waterlogged soils fill all the pore spaces that normally hold air, making it difficult for the roots to get oxygen. This also affects the earthworms and other beneficial organisms in the soil. On the opposite extreme, soils that drain too quickly can't supply roots with enough water. Such soils also don't hold on to nutrients long enough for plants to use them. Gardeners with excessively drained soil find that they have to irrigate and fertilize constantly. When dealing with topography, the shape of the land surface has a big effect on drainage. Where the ground slopes or forms a small hill, drainage of heavily textured soils will improve. Sandy soils, though, may behave more like very sandy soils. In some spots where the land forms a bowl, water will tend to collect regardless of how sandy the soil is. You can modify the topography to collect all of the most extreme drainage problems. In low spots and heavy soils, or where the water table is high, raising the soil level or building raised beds will improve drainage. In sandy, light, or gravelly soils and dry climates, creating sunken beds will help gardens capture all the available rain or irrigation water. Where topography causes severe problems, get advice from a landscaping professional regarding your yard. The importance of structure and texture can't be overstated as good structure helps ensure good drainage. Channels between crumbs allow water to move through and drain away so that it doesn't collect. Sticky substances and clay holding crumbs together also help hold water from draining away too quickly. Texture can help or hurt the soil, as the more textured the soil, the more quickly it will drain. The more clay your soil has, the slower it'll drain. Organic matter helps create any drainage problems by balancing texture and improving structure. Underground conditions below the surface can either help or complicate matters. A heavy clay soil sitting on a thick layer of sand or gravel may never experience drainage problems. An ideal loamy soil sitting on solid clay or compacted hard pan soil may collect large puddles after heavy rains. Soil drainage classes can also be helpful. Excessively drained soil is sandy or gravelly or on steeply soaked lands, and the top few inches dry out quickly. In well-drained soils, the top few inches stay moist after rains. Poorly drained soil is wet for several months of the year, and very poorly drained soil stays wet almost constantly. Water forms long-lasting puddles on the surface. There are a lot of plants that indicate poor drainage. Getting to know wild plants in your yard can tell you a lot about what's going on below the surface. The most reliable indicator plants are those for poorly drained soils. While areas that form puddles may be easy to spot after heavy rains, indicator plants can show you these areas at any time. But don't rely on a single plant or an unhealthy specimen. You need to see several thriving plants of one type, or at least three different types, to know your drainage is poor. Wild flowers and weeds like bulrushes, buttercups, cardinal flowers, cat's tail, colt's foot, dock, hellebore, horsetail, ironweed, mosses, plantains, poison hemlock, rushes and sedges, skunk cabbages, and water hemlocks are indicators of poor drainage. Shrubs and trees that indicate poor drainage are alders, buttonbush, choke cherries, meadow sweet, summer sweet, willows, and winterberry. Soil life plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of your garden. These organisms include earthworms, fungi, bacteria, and many others. They help break down organic matter release nutrients into the soil, and improve soil structure, which in turn helps with drainage. One way to promote the growth of these beneficial organisms is to add organic matter to your soil. This can be in the form of compost, leaf litter, or other natural materials. By doing so, you'll be providing the nutrients these organisms need to thrive. 
Another important factor to consider is the pH of your soil. Different plants thrive in different pH levels, so it's important to test your soil to see where it falls in the pH scale. Most plants prefer a pH between 6 and 7, but some, such as blueberries, prefer more acidic soil. If your soil is too acidic or too alkaline, it can affect nutrient availability and plant growth. There are many ways to adjust soil pH, including adding lime to raise the pH or sulfur to lower it. Finally, it's important to practice good garden management and maintain healthy soil and promote drainage. This includes avoiding overwatering, using mulch to conserve moisture, and avoiding compaction of the soil. By following these tips, you'll be on your way to promote good drainage and healthy soil in your garden. Promoting good drainage is essential to the health and vitality of your garden. By understanding the factors that affect drainage, such as soil texture, topography, and structure, and taking steps to promote healthy soil, you can ensure that your plants will thrive and grow to their fullest potential. With a little bit of effort and attention, you can create a garden that's not only beautiful, but also healthy and sustainable for years to come. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening. Hit that subscribe button. Looking forward to seeing you next time. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm.